How fast would I be if I was on EPO? How fast would I be? I would be fucking ripping it up. 27 minutes. You know, if I'm doing 27 minutes, up doisa tap, <laughs> little licky lickies. If I'm doing, when I do 27 minutes, up doisa tap, you know I'm on the gear. You know I'm on the EPO, 100%, the blood fans users or whatever. I've never taken the EPO I just on that video. But let's just say, how good would I be? My best ever power was 380 watts for about 10 minutes. I did this a couple of times on Woodlands Way, also Corkscrew Road. And that was uh, December 2012 after doing some high intensity intervals. And again, in uh, February, March of 2013 and February, March of 2014, when I did those big January base mold blasts. And I got that hell training effect. I was, so, I was like 63 kilos and just killing it. I've never, ever, ever, even on my, when I've been on, on steroids, even come close to that wattage, that 10 minute power, never come close to it. I've just never done that sort of training. So steroids will not give you that wattage. They will not come close to it. EPO will though. EPO, for sure, it will. Let's say I was an EPO. In peak fitness, my EPO times would be, if I can do 380 watts at 63 kilos for 10 minutes, it's close to six watts per kilo, then I would be able to do hmm, at about 10%. So we're talking to maybe 420 watts for 20 minutes. You basically add 10% of your max power plus double it. So 380, full natty bra, I had no caffeine, I had no asthma puffers, no painkillers, nothing. It was full natty bra. Those Woodland Way time trials, my best ever effort. Full 100% natty pre-steroid era whatever. If I was on EPO, I will be doing 420 watts for 20 minutes, assuming I was trained up. So whenever people say, oh, but this is but that, they don't understand power, they don't even use a power meter, they're not even on Strava, they've never probably even used drugs in their life, and they're just totally ignorant. It doesn't make them bad people, it just makes them ignorant. But when they, when they say shit, it sort of, it does get to me a bit. So there you go, that's how fucking powerful EPO is. So how would you know if, I'm, if I was an EPO? Then my power would be over 420 watts for 10 minutes. And then you'll know I'm on the gear. Four, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. 420 watts for 20 minutes. Not for 10 minutes. My, one of my goals is to get 400 watts for 10 minutes, but you know, whether or not we'll get there again, but they just have to do so much training. We've not committed for that anymore, I don't know. But 420 watts for 10, 20 minutes is what Duran Rider could do on EPO, okay? Like I said before, I've never ever used it. I've got plenty of friends who have used it. I can get it really fucking easy, but I've never ever used it. I'm not afraid to admit stuff. I'm not afraid to do experience YouTube. I'm curious about stuff. And a lot of people out there are on steroids. And if I was on steroids, some people say I'm on TRT. If I was on TRT, I'd be like fucking 90 kilo motherfucking swolger. I wouldn't be some pencil neck cyclist with skinny arms if I was on steroids. Have I used steroids before? 100% I have. My jaw surgery, if I had, had a, the, that fight where I had this foot pain in my uh, upper dental here, it definitely helps with recovery. Anabolics help with recovery. That's what they were designed for, people in hospital. So therape therapeutic usage of anabolics, in my opinion, is not the same as using them every fucking week on, like a TRT or something like that. So my anabolic experiments definitely improved my bench press, etc. But that's relative to me. Most people look at my bench press and laugh at it. So whenever uh, some people say, do not is on TRT, that is the biggest motherfucking lie around. If I was, I would look like a motherfucking soldier, not a skinny pencil neck cyclist. People say, oh, but you ride a bike. I don't ride a bike enough to be this, this slim, this lean. This is dietary. If I was on the gas, as much as people say, like long term, Someone said the other day I've been on gas for five years or something like that. Man, I would be so fucking swole. I would be, and I could still ride a bike, but you just, you just get fucking huge on that shit, man. It just, if you stay on 250 milligram a week, you stay on, and as long as everyone's like four or five weeks and people notice difference. If I stayed on there for like 250 weeks, do you know how fucking swole I would look? I'd be way more swole than Kino body. It would be fucking shredded and ripped. I know how to train, I know how to eat clean. There you go, that's how powerful EPO was, that's how powerful anabolics are. If I was on anabolics, I'd be swollen as a motherfucker. If I did just a four to six week cycle of EPO, my 20 minute power would be about 420 watts. I know how to train, I know how to eat, I know how to push myself. I've never ever used EPO. Yes, I've used anabolics. Very small doses, very short period of time. Nothing enough to give me a real cycling benefit. But definitely with surgery, jaw surgery, corrective jaw surgery, I noticed a profound recovery improvement. And that, my friends, is the main motivation for it. 
the main motivation. Also, I did find if I was run down, taking a bit of tea, boom, you're back up there if you're not getting enough sleep. But again, always address your sleep needs, okay? Always address your sleep needs. Always address your carbohydrate needs. Obviously, if you can't for some whatever reason, then yeah. But again, you can't treat the symptom, you have to treat the cause. Using any pharmaceutical product, whether therapeutic or otherwise, is it's a crutch, it's a band-aid, it's not treating the cause. You need to always address the cause. So hopefully that clears up any confusion. If you've got any questions, let us know down below. Do you want me to do a, I'd rather not do 100 fucking steroid videos, but if I have to, to clear the confusion, to educate my viewer, then that's what I have to do. Let us know down below. Got your questions? Let's roll.